Hey guys, welcome back. So today I did another one brand tutorial. This time I did it on Kat Von D. I love the Kat Von D products. And I think almost all of them are vegan and cruelty free, so that's great also. So if you would like to see how I created this look using only Kat Von D products, then just keep watching. So starting off this makeup look with a clean face and just my eyebrows done, I am going to take my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation and I will put the color down below. I don't remember what color it was and I'm just going to bounce it all over my skin with my dampened beauty blender. I love my beauty blender to apply foundation. It is one of my favorite ways. Then taking the Lock It Concealers, I'm taking a darker shade and a lighter shade and I'm just going to putting the lighter shade kind of underneath my eyes and around my nose and kind of highlighting my face. And then I'll take the darker shade and kind of cover up any problem areas and then just add a little bit more underneath my eyes as well. Next to set the concealer, I'm taking my Lock It Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just putting this everywhere that I put the concealer, so underneath my eyes, in the middle of my forehead, and my eyelids as well to set my eyelids for eyeshadow. And I'm just making sure that everything is set nicely so there is no, no like sticky tacky layer when I add bronzer. And then taking the Lock It, no not the Lock It, the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette, I'm taking that light yellow shade just to kind of brighten up that area underneath my eyes just a little bit more because it wasn't as light as I wanted it to be. And then taking that same, um, Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. I'm taking that middle shade and I'm using this as a bronzer. So I'm just going to be putting it around the perimeter of my face and kind of underneath my cheekbones. I'm not contouring with it because I am going to go in later and contour. So right now I am just strictly bronzing up the face and then I will also take this on the sides of my nose and contour my nose a little bit and kind of blend it out nice and seamlessly. Next, taking the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette, I'm taking that light orange shade, one of the bigger shades, and I'm just putting it into my crease and into my upper crease with my big Sigma E40 blending brush just to make sure I have a nice transition in my crease so everything else blends nice and seamlessly. Then taking the dark brown shade right there, I'm taking it on my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm focusing this on the outer V of my eye and then slowly blending it into the crease when I don't have too, too much product on my brush anymore. I only want this area to be dark. I don't want the inner corner or the lid to be dark. So I'm just making sure I'm blending this into the outer V and a little bit into my crease, making sure it is nice and blended with that transition shade. I do go in a couple of times to deepen up that area, but then I will go back in with my blending brush to make sure it's all blended. Then taking the big white shade, I'm just going to put this on my lid and my inner corners. Not too, too much of my lid. You'll see how far I go. I just want to brighten up that inner corner and that lid just a little bit. I didn't want it to be too, too dark. And then I will also use this as my brow bone highlight. And then picking up that same dark shade we put in our outer V, I am just taking that and putting it onto my lower lash line with a pencil brush. And then I'm going to go in with that um, light brown shade with, you'll see right here, and that kind of red shade next to the dark brown shade. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to blend out that dark brown shade. I don't want it to be too, too harsh. I want it to be nice and blended. And then for mascara, I'm taking my current absolute favorite. This is my Ciate Wonderland Mascara. This mascara is so good. It voluminizes like crazy. And I'm just giving myself a couple of coats. And then I am also going to be putting lashes on as well, which are going to be the Hypnoti Sinbads. Or Sinday. Sinday. I think it's Sinday. Going back in with the face, I'm taking that Kat Von D Shade Light Contour Palette. I'm taking the cooler shade, and I'm just going to be kind of chiseling out my cheekbones. Not too, too chiseled. I'm just taking a gunmetal brush by Morphe, and I am just going to be putting it underneath my cheekbones. I'm not going to be putting it around the perimeter of my face. Then taking this MAC blush. I love this blush. It is the shade Harmony. It's kind of like a bronzy kind of color, but just on the cheeks it looks so, so pretty. And then I will be going in with my highlighter, and this is my Anastasia highlighter. I 
didn't have blush or highlight from Kat Von D, so that's why I'm using these two. And this is the Sweets palette, and I'm just putting all over my cheekbones. And then for my lips, I am going to be taking a Kat Von D product. This is the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipsticks, one of my all-time favorites.